What's up you guys? It's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. I am very excited for this week's video so I thought I'd just jump in for a little bit of an intro today but pretty much it's gonna be me trying to dress like K-pop idols for a week. The whole reason I wanted to film this is because Mix Mix actually let me pick out a few items recently and I was so excited because instantly I was like yes now is my time to shine. Finally twinning with my queen fashion icon Hyanna. So of course I picked out this set which should look familiar if you follow her on Instagram. Grace the flower. I feel like it fuck <laughs> They actually have like a whole page dedicated to items that they sell that K-pop idols have worn which is really cool because they're a lot more affordable than having to purchase any of the designer brands they wear. It's passive. I guess I'll show you guys like the small haul of what I got. This isn't sponsored or anything but this tie-dye tee, I'm sure this will come in handy this week because I feel like every K-pop idol is wearing this at the moment. Since it's winter here, I did pick out this like teddy bear fleece half zip situation. I sized up and got a large so I could just wear it baggy with leggings for that really like cozy casual vibe. And then this one is a lot more girly than my usual style but I really loved the mint color and also almost like the retro sort of vibe that it gave so it might come in handy for like a cutesy look this week. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm really pumped for this one. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well and if you do, let me know if you want to see more. Obviously, I'm only doing a week long, so that's not many K-pop groups to fit in and there's so many stylish ones to choose from. So if you want to see a part two, let me know who you want me to include. Okay, it is currently 9.30, 12th of June, and today tickets go on sale for ATEEZ's Australian tour. And I thought, hello, perfect excuse to dress up like ATEEZ. I'm hoping that if I'm dressed like them, maybe it'll bring me like some good luck vibes while I'm trying to secure these tickets. Yeah! I'm not going to be taking inspo from any of the members' personal style, although Sun's bathroom robe moment would definitely be more fitting for me considering I don't think I'll be leaving the house today. But I do already know I don't have any exact pieces that really represent a particular look a member has worn in the past. So instead of doing that, I think I'm just going to try along the lines of Kind of like if there was a ninth member that you wanted to dress in obviously that same theme and vibe, but they also have to have their own individual look that's not too closely similar to any of the other members because I feel like that's really important in dressing like a group of people. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> With that said, I do still have to make a decision on which comeback though. Um, I'm gonna just start pulling stuff for Say My Name because I know I have a lot of kind of like thrifted pieces that really work in with that theme. And then I also really want to do one for the latest comeback because it was just two days ago and the styling is so fun. But again, decisions to make, illusion or wave. I think I'm leaning towards wave though. So yeah, let's, let's just start coming up with some stuff. I feel like it's easier once you start pulling pieces out. <laughs> As I was pulling the Say My Name stuff, I realized I could totally do like a holla holla inspired look as well. So I just grabbed a few things in case we want to do that as an option as well. I feel like this is going to end up being so long. It could be like a whole video just styling every 80s concept, but um, uh, let, let, let's try and speed it up. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the look I'm gonna go for. Obviously, the other two were significantly more dressy, and like I mentioned, I'm literally just gonna be sitting in my house trying to purchase tickets today. So I think this is the more realistic option and I do really like it as well. This is totally something that I would wear. So I dig it. 
Hey guys, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this as today's look or if it'll be like a bonus outfit because I'm sorry I didn't actually film me styling it or picking out the outfit, but I actually just threw this on to film the intro to a video that will already be up. It was dressing like your Hogwarts house, which is kind of why I look like a Hufflepuff lecturer at the moment, but it was completely inspired by the look that Jimin wears in Season's Greetings, the most recent one. I've been meaning to try it out for the longest time because it's one of my favorites. If you guys watch my videos regularly, usually I have like a collage of pictures in the background and I have him wearing that look, um, the picture of him and Tay. It's just one of my favorites. So yeah, I threw it on for today and I thought I would just include it in this video as well so you can see the full look. I feel like this one is a really easy look to recreate for most people because it's just plain jeans, white tee, and a pair of Converse, and then you can throw on any sort of blazer. Um, luckily, I had this one that I thrifted, which is actually a really similar check and kind of like color palette to his one, but you can switch it up for any colors that you want and then just choose a matching beret accordingly. <laughs> Okay, I'm back on the same day. I know I said that I would do another full look for today, but I don't know. I just felt like taking my makeup off and getting straight into editing. I was originally going to do a Hossack inspired outfit and I mean, this jumper does still remind me of him, so low-key, still on brand. But I'm sorry, I'm babbling. The point of me coming back on here today is actually to say that I'm going to do a giveaway in this video as well. I have three copies of Persona to give away version one, two, and four. So I'll do three separate winners. Um, heads up, these have been opened. I am desperate to get a photo card for every single member. And the only person I am missing is Tay, who also happens to be my bias and apparently hates me. So um, I did open them because I would never forgive myself if all of them ended up being Tay Young and I gave them all away. But spoiler alert, he wasn't in these. Yeah! But yeah, even though they're open, they still come with all their original content. One of them actually even has the little limited standee as well, so that'll be a bonus for one of you guys. But I'm also throwing in some extra little goodies that I picked up when I was over in Korea. If you do want to enter though, then just leave me a comment. Previously, I've asked who your bias is already, so I'm thinking this time around, comment what your favorite BTS era or concept was, whether it is styling related, music wise, um, I don't know when you thought your bias shone the brightest, I don't know, whatever you wanna make it. And then just don't forget to leave your Instagram handle as well because that's the way that is easiest to contact the winners. Are you gonna do the intro today, are you? Go on then, tell them. Who are we gonna take inspo from? Who is it? Are you excited for it? morning guys welcome to my lounge room clearly i am not at all ready yet no makeup hair is not done i figured i would actually choose my outfit first i am going to go and catch up with a friend today just for coffee but yeah pretty much the goal is going to be a cute casual outfit and i was thinking of taking inspo from jenny from blackpink obviously not her stage outfits that are a little bit more flashy but just her everyday personal style i really like i follow all the members on instagram and i really like when they have individual accounts because you do get to see their personal style a little bit more and i really love a lot of the outfits that jenny posts so i figured i'd kind of turn there for some inspo and then if we're still looking for something i got my laptop and i'll look up like some airport outfit styles as well Okay, I am back looking somewhat more presentable with my hair and makeup done now. I even tried to match the lilac eyeshadow to the cardigan. And I think that this definitely gives a similar sort of vibe to Jenny's look. She does wear a lot of kind of like wide leg, kind of baggy jeans, I suppose, and then something a little bit tighter on top. And I really, really love the cardigan that she's wearing in that particular look because the color is just stunning. And I feel like the color is spot on, but obviously mine is missing that print or pattern that she has on the front of hers. But I think, since we don't have the pattern, I'm gonna add on a few accessories instead. Obviously her look didn't, but honestly, whenever you're taking inspiration from someone else's outfit, you should always put like your own little twist on it anyway. So I'm gonna throw on some of my favorite silver accessories. Yeah, I was thinking of just going with this 
cute little white backpack. I feel like she does backpacks sometimes. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but obviously, ideally, this would be a designer bag if we're really doing a true Jenny Kim look, but we'll make do with just this little baby for now. Morning guys, it's Saturday and I'm feeling kind of tired, hence the current appearance. Also, I haven't done hair or makeup yet because I think I might want to do something specific depending on which look we actually choose today because we are going a little bit further outside my comfort zone and I'm going to choose a girl group cute concept and <laughs> honestly I'm terrified. I have come up with two main options. Obviously queens of cute concept have to be twice so I've been re-watching a bunch of music videos and I noticed that I actually own an exact piece that Momo wears in the Heart Shaker music video so it is this striped Unif sweater and obviously this one isn't too far out of my comfort zone considering I actually own a piece. My other option leans even more on the girly side and it is Wiki Mickey from the music video Picky Picky. Wake it, make it. But particularly their introduction outfits, I suppose you would call them, where they all have that kind of blue school theme to it, but it's really ultra feminine. I thought that this blue blazer I've had for literally like five years could come in handy for it. I don't know if I have enough feminine pieces to pair with it, but I thought we could do our best. Okay, my apologies to Momo because we do not have time to recreate her look as well after the time it has taken me to get this look together. I don't know if y'all are ready for this. Ta-da! <laughs> I feel so freaking weird. Um, this is just so far from me. Like, I feel like I'm cosplaying as a Love Live Sunshine character or something right now. Gotta make a choice, Stephanie. Are you a weeaboo or are you a Koreaboo? And honestly, at Supernova or Comic Con would probably be the only place I'd feel remotely comfortable dressed up like this. <laughs> the big difference is obviously the wig. I picked up a few from Yesta recently just for a bit of fun really. Um, and I figured now was the perfect opportunity to finally whip one out. I might do a full video on like a wig haul and styling them with different looks and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Um, it is actually really fun, but I do feel ridiculously uncomfortable right now. Like, I feel like I can't even make eye contact with the camera lens for some reason. <laughs> really itchy. I am not used to bangs. <laughs> Obviously, yesterday we did a cutesy girl group inspired look. So I thought today, let's just retreat back into my personal comfort zone of more men's inspired fashion. And I really wanted to have a look at some of the people that I would consider like the fashion kings of the K-pop industry. The other day, homeboy shows up to the airport with a blazer and no shirt underneath. Like, his outerwear game is so good. And Loki, even just wearing the winter merch, it still looks sick. Like, what the fuck? How can someone be so stylish? Okay. Oh, actually, that looks well. Every look is so good. I honestly feel just attacked. I feel very attacked. Relax. So this is the base of the outfit. Since there's a few layers, I thought I'd kind of like step through it. But at first it looks like he's just wearing a normal button up shirt with a blazer over the top. But I do believe he has an extra layer underneath and has his button up shirt only the top button done and then lets it kind of like on the bottom half, we have some skinny jeans. These ones are super faded because they're really old. I never wear skinny jeans anymore. I had to fish these out from the back 
of the closet and I just added a little belt as well and then for feet he has combat boots on so I'm just going for a good old pair of Doc Martens. I'm gonna throw on the grey check blazer and I feel like this is a style he actually wears a lot of so you could definitely recreate a few of his different looks just with this item. Surprisingly as soon as I put the sunglasses on I feel significantly less comfortable and I think the key to Minnow's look in general is confidence so definitely tweak the outfit accordingly until you feel right. Okay, I am so glad that I tried this look on second because this is definitely the one I'll be wearing today. I feel a hundred times more comfortable in this than the previous one and it's still super similar to his original look but we have the same combo with the Burberry check shirt with a red t-shirt layered over the top and then for the trousers he had on some black dress pants. His were a little bit more tailored to the leg but I've gone for this wide leg option mostly because it's just what I had but also it's a lot more comfortable and I couldn't actually see what style shoe he was wearing but I figured I would just go for these trusty old black dress shoes that have a bit of a platform to them these always remind me of K idols whenever I wear them and I actually bought these long before I ever got into K-pop so clearly our styles always have crossed paths as for wearing it out today I think I'm just gonna throw on my crossbody bum bag that I always wear with an extra chain on it and we'll be good to go if you guys have been on my channel a while and are like kind of familiar with my own personal style I would be interested to know if there's any particular girl group that styling reminds you most of me because I just feel like I share a brain cell with the stylist of Itzy because every single stage performance they did for Dalla Dalla I was like Yes, so originally my plan for today was to choose one of their stage performances and kind of similar to how I did with 80s, not recreate a particular outfit, but instead take the key elements and create like an additional look for another member. And I might still put together something, but right now I am on a high of idols, comeback, G idol, idol. Um, but their music video for Uh Oh just hit last night, but I watched it this morning and it is so freaking good they pull off that hip-hop sort of style so well and all the outfits are something i would wear in a heartbeat so i really want to recreate one of the looks so as you can see this is actually a very simple look to recreate which means it's very realistic for everyday wear i think what really makes it in the music video is the fact that they are all so cohesive and also just her hairstyle and aura in general brings like a whole new vibe to the outfit this is similar to something i've worn many times in the past and i think i will go with this option today as well um it is winter though so i think i'm just gonna throw on like a black cardigan or something just to stay warm Welcome to the final day you guys and also welcome to my spare room slash getting ready room. I just finished doing my makeup right there behind you. I'm not going to turn you around because the desk is a complete mess but I did spin around in my chair so I can take some inspo from some of my K-pop albums for the last look. Trust me I wish I had a bigger collection. I have a lot of albums on my wish list especially to fill out this like miscellaneous shelf. As you can see there's definitely a lot of BTS up here but still a long way to go on that collection as well but um, yeah taking inspo from this second shelf here today I'll do a little overview so you can see some of my choices but I think I'm gonna have to go with Stray Kids Miro album I really love the overall design of the front cover and the first half of the photo book especially is right up my alley with the styling the use of color and just the overall concept the key items I'm gonna be pulling from my wardrobe is anything neon and also anything that has that oversized streetwear sort of aesthetic to it so this is the look I went for in the end and it is probably most similar to Hyunjin's look which I must admit is my favorite of the bunch. I just love the Balenciaga Speedhunters shirt. I know that it's so overdone at this point but it's still sick and I feel like we did a pretty good job at coming up with a budget friendly version. I do kind of feel like a skater boy. But I guess that actually brings us to the end of this video. Feels like a long time coming since I have filmed this over like a span of three weeks now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun filming it. Let me know if you want to see more like this. And of course, any K-pop idols that you might want to see me recreate next time. And don't forget about the giveaway as well. I'll leave all the details and stuff in the description box because... I can't even remember what I said back then, but <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one as well. Mwah.